Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel today. How you doing? What's up? In today's video, guys, we're gonna dive into some Troom Troom, but not just regular Troom Troom, Troom Troom Select. Mm -hmm. So if you guys wanna see how two best friends overcome stardom or how two best friends who are not so popular in college become famous or one of them becomes Billy Eilish, stay tuned. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. <laughs> So this starts off with Sydney and Amelia. They are just two girls who are just not too popular in college. They're just not popular. All they get is bullied and pranked. That is not right. Sydney is also secretly in love with Tyler, <gasps> the cutest guy in college. The cutest guy in college? Uh, depends on your taste. Oh no, mm -hmm. her secret is out. This can't be good. Hearts, <laughs> you and me don't even think about it. Of course, Tyler would never see her that way, but he'll laugh at her and tell the whole school about it. You see? I knew her. This was not good good from the beginning. Tyler, Taylor, no. Nah. It's a good thing Amelia is always around. Don't cry, babe. We'll show them. I wish I had a best friend, except my best friend is myself. Hi, best friend. Oh, hey, best friend. What's going on, best friend? Nothing much, best friend. Goodbye, best friend. Goodbye. Moving on to the next scene, we have some popular girls eating in the cafeteria, looking at what seems to be a birthday invitation. Mm hmm? Cindy's birthday is coming up. She's going to have a big party. I need to invite everyone, but it seems like no one wants to come. Yeah, because you do not need to invite everyone. You have your best friend. You don't need anybody else. Stop it. Mm -hmm. A random girl's birthday? Who would even go to that? I would go. I would go. Okay, space bun girl. I would go. The girls are just trying to have a quiet lunch and all of a sudden... Who does she think we are? Take your invitations, dork. Hmm. Oh, why are they so mean? It hurts. Can't they just eat their broccoli Alfredo in peace? It hurts. Finally, here's the party. A pajama party for two? Yeah, just like we expected. Hmm. Maybe the guests are just late or stuck in traffic? Let's wait a little longer. <sighs> she really wants to have friends and I feel bad. And you know what? I will sign up. Sign me up to be your best friend. Meanwhile, we have Amelia over here like having a heart attack. She's like, just don't get upset. I'll make it fun. Don't worry. Like, just don't get upset. Don't worry at all. We can have fun by ourselves, too. There's no one but Amelia. Look, I have a gift for you. Mm. Wow, that's so cute. Oh, that is so sweet. You see, that's why you need a best friend like Amelia. She's like, don't feel sad. I got gotcha. you. It's cute. It's a best friend's bracelet. Bracelet. Necklace. Very sweet. Now both of them will have a symbol of their friendship. <laughs> And even after all of that, you would think that Sydney would just let it go. No. Nope. She's still pointing at this damn alarm clock like, no one came. <sighs> no one. Don't be sad. Okay, let's just eat. Blow out the candles and make a wish. Obviously, Sydney wants to be popular. I want to be like her. Wait a minute. You want to be like who? Like her. Like her. Billy Eyelash. <laughs> with what you wish for. So after making her wish, she wakes up the next day and notices nothing's different at all. She has green nails, green sweater, and a completely, totally different looking kind of room. So I mean, yeah. Amelia can sleep some more. I like how Sydney says, let me let Amelia sleep. And then she opens the shades like Amelia wasn't just sleeping. Like, you gotta see Dr. Phil. But I'm going to go change. <gasps> Whoa! How did Billy get in the mirror? Oh my god. It took her all this time to notice everything on her body was different. How did Billy get in the mirror? And Amelia still got woken up anyway. Why are you screaming? What's wrong? <gasps> Amelia is ready to go. Amelia was not playing around. Ready to go. Amelia can't see. She's like me. You know, I need contacts to see or I need glasses to see. And instead of getting an autograph, she decided to whack her on the head with a flower pot. Hey, where did you put my friend? Wait, it's mm -hmm. me. And in order for her head to not get smashed by a plant, <laughs> she has to show Amelia that they have a friendship bracelet and she has the other half. Look, here's my half of the necklace. Hmm. Plot twist. I think my wish came true. Now we're at the next day or the same day. I'm not too sure. And now it's time for Sydney and Amelia to go to school. I'm assuming there's going to be some crazy reactions. Everything seemed normal, but only until Cindy appeared in the hallway. Wow, a worldwide celebrity. Nobody noticed shy little Cindy, but there's a whole line of people wanting to be Billie Eilish. The fans would do anything to get her autograph. This is what it means to be famous. All this love and attention did not go over well for Amelia. Hey, what about me? Poor Amelia. Is their friendship over? And she feels like she's really losing her best friend. Cindy's new look means she has a new life. Now she doesn't have to sit in a corner. Tyler himself gives her a spot. Her crush. Hmm. Who would have thought? Your crush Tyler loves you now, and he's more than obsessed with you. All the popular 
popular girls are jealous. This is so nice. They even want to fight for the right to give Cindy their lunch. Now they want to basically kiss your butt. And of course, selfies. Lots of selfies with their idols. Here comes Amelia walking in and she's trying to see, hey, what's going on? Where's my friend? Where are we going to eat lunch? Unfortunately, there was no room at the table for Amelia. She'll be eating alone today. That is so sad. <sighs> and why are there still paper balls on the desk? Like, nobody cleans off? That lunchroom is f -f -f filthy. Now, after that horrible lunch, we move on to Tyler and we get a little insight on his darkest little secret. Mm. He too has a crush. Wow! It turns out that Tyler has idols too. <gasps> well, just one idol. His favorite. Can you guess? Fate brought the love of his life to his college. But will a celebrity like this ever notice a mere mortal? Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah, mm -hmm. you're a normal person. I'm not doing that. Next! Get to the back of the line, Tyler. And these two are just losing it. Stay strong, buddy. Cindy's personality is even changing. She's no longer studying or focusing on class. Instead, she's chit-chatting and making new friends in class. Chatting with new friends is way more exciting. Amelia is not having it. Nobody's asking Amelia's opinion, but sooner or later, even celebrities have to answer at the blackboard. Uh-oh, you gotta go. Hmm, no problem with math. She actually does great at the math equation. Amelia looks excited. Her. She's like, oh my god, I got my old best friend back. Her brain is still intact. She's not just Billy Eyelash. The popular girls are like, wait a minute. What's going on with you? Oof, peer pressure. <laughs> No, she did not wipe the equation. She'd do anything to keep up her cool image. Billy, you don't need the love and attention of the popular girls. Mm -hmm. The girls are happy, but Amelia is uncomfortable. And it seems like her best friend Cindy is a totally different person now. Well, Amelia is mad at her, and now Cindy has the nerve to throw paper balls at her best friend. Like, that's not right. Miss Smith didn't like that performance. All this effort for what? The teacher still gave you an F. She didn't like it. Next. The girls decided to go shopping just like in the old days. Old days, which was like one day ago. Oh my god, it's... <gasps> wow, the crazy fans won't let the star just shop in peace. But of course, you can't go shopping in peace when you're a celebrity, right? The salesperson is ready to do anything to make Billy stay in the shop longer. Mm -hmm. She's snatching shirts off of customers' hands, hey. just doing anything she could to keep Billy in the store. And there goes Amelia getting spun around bras. We move on to the next scene and Amelia is quote unquote preparing for a party. Amelia is preparing for a party. It's her birthday. And what do you know? It's her birthday. No, this isn't going to work. But Cindy wants to help. Now she understands how to be beautiful. What do you know? Her best friend, old best friend, Sydney, is helping her get ready. Hmm. Now you're ready for the party. I hope she's okay. I, I really hope she's okay. What? What the heck is this? Why are you blaming Gaga on your problems? Gaga has nothing to do with this. Cindy did want to make her friend beautiful, but it looks like nerds will be nerds. Nerds will be nerds. <laughs> nerds. But anyway, even with that horrid makeover, Amelia and Cindy still decide to sit down and have a birthday dinner or lunch, but this time for Amelia. It's so great to be together again. Amelia missed it so much. Oh, guess? Mm -hmm. That's unexpected. Did they decide to throw a surprise party for Amelia? Oh my gosh, what? So people did show up for Amelia. But no, it's Cindy's fans again. And all the gifts are for her, of course. Oh, 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 that's messed up. They showed up there for Cindy and not for Amelia's birthday. That's very sad. The birthday girl gets a small bag. All those gifts. There was like 17 gifts and she gets one tiny gift. Don't cry. It's time to blow out the candles. Don't worry, don't cry because it's time to blow out the goddamn candles. What will be her wish? Amelia wants her friend back, her old Cindy. She's like, I don't like this new Cindy. I want the old Cindy back. Let's see if this wish comes true. And as she makes that wish, she goes back into her memories of her with her best friend. All the time she helped her find her glasses and they ate together and they yada, 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 yada. Best friend things. It was perfect. Moving on as if we weren't waiting to see what the hell happened with the wish. I guess Billy's having a concert and everybody decided to go. Billy Eilish is having a concert. You can't miss it. Even Amelia bought a ticket. Oh, there are so many people. Amelia doesn't know anybody. But even she feels like dancing. Okay, Amelia getting down. She can't just stand still. She's like, hey, I don't know anybody, but I'm gonna still dance. What's wrong with Cindy? 
she passing out? She became herself again. Oh my god. All this time, we were waiting to see what would happen with that wish, and the wish did not play. That wish was like, no, you're not gonna wake up that way. You're gonna fall that way. And she fell back into her old self. Amelia's wish came true. And the fans were not happy about that. The fans don't want Cindy. The fans were canceling her left and right. Let's go. There's nothing to see here. Canceled. Everyone is gone. And only Amelia is there. Even after falling and bumping her head and getting a mild concussion, Amelia was still there. No matter what happens, they are best friends forever. That is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching Troom Troom Select with me. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys. Bye.